<laughs> we, are, we are here in, um, in by the medium on here in Studio B, and we were having a ton of fun. We got Sparky, got the cheerleaders having a ton of fun. We're talking about a very special component of the Territorial Cup rivalry. It also does a lot of good for our community. Uh, tomorrow's ASU U of A game, ASU for food will collect food and cash donations. A very, very worthy cause. Gus Miranda from State Farm. Tell us about this um, great way to connect with the community. Well, State Farm is very proud to be a part of this rivalry. Yeah. Um, it's a real historic rivalry. And we decided with the marketing um, branding uh, aspect to develop something that really did benefit the community. So that's when we developed the uh, State Farm Territorial Cup food fight. Um, and over the past uh, two seasons and up through this one, we've raised over 42,000 meals. Oh, that's awesome. And what we do is we'll be setting up around Air, uh, Arizona State University, about three different locations, uh, and uh, we'll have bins for food. What we're encouraging people to do is to bring food, uh, bring canned um, can goods, and if you um, don't want to do that, if you would like to make donations, we'll have um, ASU for Food students and volunteers going around through uh, the entire uh, campus uh, where people are tailgating oh, just to awesome. go through and uh, to make, bring awareness to a really, really uh, in important need both in wildcat country and in Sun Devil country. Right. I mean, this food benefits the entire state of Arizona, right? Three charities in, in, in the state of Arizona. Yes. During a time where so many families need it. We're talking about Thanksgiving and Christmas. And um, Pam, you and your son Cody, um, you said, gosh, it's so important for you guys. Yeah, it's a matter of getting month to month. Uh, food if you need it it's there we, when when did you go out and, and and ask for help and seek help um i it's not like a every month thing but just like last month we didn't get to get through and it got us through the month um the help that is just it's there and if people need it they need it we need donations bad yeah and when you see it you sit down at the end of the day and you say am i going to pay my bills or mm -hmm. am i going to go to the grocery store and buy food and you say you know this is something that our family needs to survive that's right you know cody your thoughts on on just how, how helpful it's been for you guys well there's a lot of people in our apartment complex that like are more lower class lower middle class and they don't have a lot of money for food and stuff yeah. and even them with like just all of the food boxes from all over the valley they just help everyone. Yeah, a lot of people depend on the help, don't they? Yeah. And guess one more time, three different locations at all, the stadium. All three locations around Sun Devil Stadium uh, will have uh, the food fight banners, um, okay, cool. bins, uh, st uh, volunteers, so you won't be able to miss us. So please come, and we're asking you to bring, bring as much as you can. I love, the, I love the whole aspect of having the rivalry on the field, but it has an aspect that completely contributes to the community. And that's year-round, yeah. so we do that year-round, so oh. it's not just for the game, so awesome. that's the important aspect. Awesome. Thank you so much, Gus, and a big thank you to Sparky and the cheerleaders for coming in. We'll be right back.